Hi guys! I am here to do a reading for you for the month of July. I know we are like seven days in, but it is still July. So let's see what we have for you guys in the month of July. What's going on with you? What's going on around my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. And we have the lovers here. Gemini energy. Feeling quite connected with somebody here. Does not have to be a Gemini, but that is the energy that I'm feeling like. This really playful energy. Um, having good conversations even with someone here. But there, love is definitely in the air for some of you guys here. Okay, what is challenging Aries? Lots of cards wanting to come out here, but there is a I'm so used to the camera facing like down. Um, but there is a king of wands here, um, a fire energy now. <clears throat> The way I'm seeing this though is that this is more so your energy, okay? It could definitely be somebody else's energy, but I'm feeling like um, you guys are wanting control over this situation here. And somebody else also, I feel like you are bumping heads with someone. There's somebody that you're bumping heads with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And being that you are um, a fire energy as well, it's like sometimes tempers can flare with this person. What's the underlying issue here for Aries? Underlying issue for Aries. Okay, let's see what that is. A Knight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like the emotions are all over the place. Like one day you can be so in love with this person and vice versa. This person can act like they're so in love with you and want to please you, this, that, and other. And then the next day it's like um, somebody is sabotaging. You know, like any little thing that person does will turn you off. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Like, um, both of you are probably wanting control in this situation. The other person may be more so than you, but you're not allowing that energy. You're not, you're not standing for it, is what I'm hearing. Like, somebody wants to be in control of this situation probably because they have more masculine energy. But I feel like you guys have a nice balance of masculine and feminine energy and that, and that, masculine energy that you are exhibiting is coming out and saying no neither one of us should have control in this situation we are equals in this situation okay we're equals in this relationship you don't tell me what to do i don't tell you what to do we're supposed to work together and i'm getting that that creates a lot of friction here so one minute you feel like you're all into this person and vice versa and then the next minute it's like you want to strangle each other almost Okay, this is that water energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. <clears throat> what was going on in the recent past for Aries? Recent past for Aries. High Priestess. High Priestess energy there. Hmm. Following your heart, following your intuition. There's something that you feel like you've figured out. But you're not really sharing that. You're just moving accordingly, like to to what your heart is telling you to do, what your head is telling you to do. Okay. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Aries. Crowning thoughts for Aries. This person loves you though. This person really cares for you. If this is a relationship that you just entered into. Um, this person really cares for you really really cares for you whether it's been a month whether it's been a couple of months several months this is somebody that really cares for you there may also be somebody else involved here though that you know about not saying that it is but for some of you it definitely is uh, uh, somebody else that is in this picture okay Granny thoughts for Aries Two of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like you just want to know what to do. 
Hang on one second, guys. Yeah, you just want to know what it is that you're supposed to do. Because there's some instability here. There's something about this person that makes you feel like, you know, uh, uh, things are unstable. This, this person's fickle or this situation is unstable. Um, and that's not what you are wanting. You definitely want to be secure in a situation, a relationship with you. I think for some of you where there is a mistress involved, you want this person to choose. You want them to make you a priority. Okay? Not just to choose, but to make you a priority. And possibly get rid of whatever else um, is going on. Okay? So if there's a situation where there is a mistress, I feel like you guys know that there is a mistress here. There is no guessing, okay? You know there's someone else in the picture. <clears throat> Two of coins is Capricorn energy. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there is a choice that this person is making and it is you. Okay, this is Virgo energy here. This person is deciding that they want to be committed to you. So there is a commitment on the table here. Possibly a marriage in the future for you guys. Okay. Strong commitment there. I feel like there's money um, in the works for you as well. How is Aries viewing this situation? Nine of Cups here. You're happy overall. It's what you want. It's what you've you've longed for. Okay? There's something about this person that I feel like really <laughs> lights your fire. <clears throat> Let's see. What is influence in Aries? Please show me this influence in Aries. Six of Wands there. You want this to be successful. You want this to be a successful, committed, loving relationship. I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy going on here as well. Hmm. And you feel something with this person. like More than just like um, a, a sexual connection with this person or an emotional connection with this person you feel like for some of you that this is your person that you guys look good together you move good together you are good together but there's just this one thing about this control issue and this this fickleness that's going on here. This is Leo energy here with the Six of Wands. So Leo Virgo energy for some of you. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Aries. Hopes or fears for Aries. Seven of Wands. I feel like that you guys will not get on the same page. That you'll constantly be fighting for what it is that you want and what you believe in. Again, we have Leo energy here. So strong Leo for some of you guys here, okay? You don't want to fight. can we all just get along? But you will if you have to, is the thing. Okay? Then we have a card that... Um, flew out down here on the floor and it looks like it's the page of wands down here so <clears throat> I feel like there's something um, that you feel like it's kind of childish about this person maybe they are younger than you and um, you kind of want them to you know be more mature kind of grow up a little bit possibly um, I feel like you guys are trying to teach this person maturity or teach them, like, show them the way for some of you. What is the overall outcome here for Aries? Overall outcome for Aries. And we have the Emperor there. That is your energy. I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you guys are gonna get your way <laughs> this person is going to um, quite possibly conform um, follow you 
follow your, you know, where you're leading them, where you're guiding them to. Follow your lead. So I do feel like that. I think that you need to be mindful, though, that you don't come across as um, overbearing or quite controlling, you know. So, but I do feel like this is going to be, this is leading to a committed relationship, okay. I think my biggest thing is for you guys to just think about keeping that nice balance of masculine and feminine energy because you don't really want to come off as like, you know, having somebody under your thumb, you know. So, that is what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.